no shade if I don't get paid for this housework. Right. How annoying. I'm filming this again. Can you please just focus on my face? Thank you. It's not even focusing yet. Like, I'm just going to sit here until it focuses. There it goes. Oh, there's my baby. My baby's working. Okay, let me like text real quick. This is, I'll edit this out. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, what the f Sup, guys? So, today we're doing a swatches and a review of Mary Kay's gel semi matte lipsticks. And I'm very excited about this video. And I'm sorry it's another makeup video. Um, I have more videos planned. I have like skits I want to do. I just need people to be in it. Um, I have done some vlogs. I'll probably edit vlogs, put them up soon. And I have more exciting challenges and stuff that I have been planning. I just need some time to do it. You know what I mean? Because if you guys didn't know, I started college about a few weeks ago. And college is a whole different environment. It is way different than high school and it's kind of more hectic and has it it takes more work. You know what I mean? It takes more work and I just realized that. I was like, well, college is gonna be easy, it's on my own schedule, I got this. And then I go to college and I'm like, oh my god, this takes a lot of work and a lot of concentration and a lot of no procrastination and all this stuff. Like you really need to be on your A game to do good in college because you cannot suck off. You cannot be hanging out with your friends all the time because you're going to be like, oh my god, I forgot to do an assignment and you don't want that to happen. Look at my outfit, guys. I am still stuck in the early 2000s and the 90s. Even though I was born in the late 90s, I just love 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 old music i love early 2000s music i love 90s and i love 80s and i'm wearing a little 90s shirt i guess you could say in early 2000s i'm wearing a red hot chili pepper shirt so check me out guys so yeah i know it's just like i'm in, I'm in a band mood so i have my little side bangs going on my little band t-shirt and my choker I'm gonna do a video with um, all these clips because I went to Hair Nation Festival in Irvine Meadows and I saw so many 80s bands, like 80s rock bands, and I almost died in the inside. I saw Poison. Well, I saw Brett Michaels. He was a part of Poison, but I saw Brett Michaels. I love Poison. I will do a whole video with all of that and talk about my experience at my first concert. And yeah, but yeah, look into this into up, let's get into it. Yeah, what's up? What's up? I'm so white. What am I doing? I don't know, but I'm back. I'm back. Ah! Woo! I'm back. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, what's on me? I don't know. I'm sorry. Mary Kay came out with matte lipsticks, but they are semi matte. And if you guys don't know what that means, it's it's still a lipstick. It's still moisturizing, but it gives the look of matte lips. So. Yeah, so I was very excited because I love Kylie Lip Kits. I love color pops, look of lipsticks, but they're so drying. So when Mary Kay came out with this, I was very excited. And I've even tried color pops lippy sticks. It's very similar to Mary Kay's formula. I'll compare them to you guys, but I'm seriously in love. I am wearing a color right now on my lips. It is called Crushed Berry, I believe. I'll do swatches and I will do pictures of me with other colors on because I don't think I have time to put on other colors. I, I probably will. I will. That's a lie. But I'll swatch each one, explain each one to you guys, and yeah. So let's, let me show you. All right, guys. It comes into a package like this. Black little lip, lipstick package thing, thingamajiggy. So it looks like this up close. Super duper nice. And then it has a little clear part so you can see what the color is. And it has a name at the bottom. And this one is called moth movement and when i open it it just looks like this and it is awesome and it smells like citrus and it's just a beautiful beautiful scent and yeah so let me swatch it on my wrist so you guys see each color so the first one here is called moth movement so i'll just swatch it it looks like this okay so you guys can see it's like a mauvey pink color it's very very pretty and I like it. All right, the next shade I have, I'm just going in random order. This is called Poppy Please. And when I open it, it looks like this, super duper red. 
I wore this with my Suicide Squad shirt that I bought. Oh, here it is. So it's like this reddish orangish color and it's super duper pretty. And I like it a lot and it works really good for my fair skin. So that's that color. The next color is called Bashful You. So when I open it, it looks like this. Super duper pretty. This is seriously the perfect nude color. I like it a lot. So, so sloppy. I'm not good at swatches. So, you guys could see it's like this, their basic nude color. Super duper pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, this lighting is pissing me off really bad. Okay, this next color is called Crush Berry. It's on my lips right now. I add a little bit of lip gloss to make my lips look bigger. And it looks like this when you twist it up. Nice. It's a nice color, guys. I love this. Super duper pretty. Let me swatch it on my hand. I'm a big fan of berries, so this was exciting for me to get. Oh, I just messed up this lipstick. Oh my goodness. Guess you are interested right now. Or lipstick. Let me fix that. Okay, it's like all over, it's all over me. Looking at a towel right there. Okay. okay, so that's that color. So you guys could see it is this berry color. It's a super duper pretty berry color. This is like my favorite favorite color, and it goes really really good with my skin tone. It's like a reddish color that actually. Oh my god. Was that there the whole time? Oh, it's like a reddish color that actually... Oh my god. Was that there the whole time? Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's just really, really, really pretty berry color. I really, really love this. I'm sorry that they're so sloppy, but yeah. Super duper pretty color. Yes, it's on my lips right now. I like it a lot. Next color is called Always Apricot. Super duper nice color. It looks like this when you twist it up. Nice, the nice color. It's a nice apricot color, so it's kind of peachy. I like this one a lot too. I like every color, honestly. The next one is called Powerful Pink. This is a nice one, but it's very bright, guys. Crazy, huh? I don't know when I wear this, but I will. I will in one of my videos. I'll do something crazy and wear it because I'm Erica. It's this crazy bright, bright pink. Super duper pink. Do you guys see how pink this is? Like, what? 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 So it is this pink shade. Look how bright that is. Oh my god. I look like Barbie if I put that on, but I like it. I love pink. <laughs> the next shade is called Midnight Red. I love this. So it looks like this when you twist it up. Really nice red color. Perfect for the fall. I can't wait to wear this in the fall time. Perfect dark red. I love darker reds, like bloodish reds, because bright reds do not look good on me at all. So it looks like this. I love this shade, guys. This shade is beautiful. You guys see that? Isn't that really nice? Like a brownish red. Love it. I love it so much. And the last color I have is called Rich Truffle. This is like your brown nude shade. It looks like this, and I'll swatch it. It's like this, just this brown nude shade. So you guys kind of see which colors are in the same family. Like these, one, two, three, four colors. I feel like they're kind of the same family and the other ones kind of stand out more, but they're very, very nice. If I show you guys up close, you guys could see the matte look to them, but they're also opaque like a lipstick should be. Let's name them. This is called Mauve Movement. This one is called Poppy Please. This one is called Bashful You. This one is called Crushed Berry. This one is called Always Apricot. This one is called Powerful Pink. This one is called Midnight Red. And this one is called Rich Chuffle. So those are all the shades. And you guys can see up close that in the sunlight, they are matte. 
but they're like a lipstick. So they are very, very nice. So let me tell you guys my experience with each one. So my first impression was that it was very, very moisturizing on my lips, but they gave me the matte feel. Um, I put lips, lip gloss on top of this one because I wanted my lips to appear bigger, but it didn't really work out. But they were really, really nice. They give you the matte look, but give you the lipstick feel. And they also last long like a matte lipstick should. I mean, it doesn't last as long as the Kylie Lip Kit, but it still has a long lasting power on your lips and it lasts longer than your average lipstick. So I really, really enjoyed that. The cool thing about these is if you guys didn't know, I have a whole bunch of Mary Kay lipsticks and I always wanted the matte look before I, the whole trend. When I first saw this trend coming, I what I would do is I would get a translucent powder or a white eyeshadow and I would tap it on my lips to get a matte look. Finally, I don't have to do that because it came out with these lipsticks. So I'm super duper excited that they finally, finally decided, let's make matte lipsticks. Mary Kay, how they work is their trends happen later. So what they do is they, they kind of evaluate a trend. They see how long the lasting of it's lasting. So since they saw, oh, matte lipsticks are a trend right now, let's see how long they last. Since it's been lasting a long time, they're like, we could finally come out with it because that's what they do. They wanna make sure that the trend lasts. I'm sitting on lipsticks. So yeah, so basically, so what I could say about these is, I love them. I'll give it a 10 out of a 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10 because I wish I had more variety of colors, and their colors are a little too bright, but some of them are very workable, some of them are very nude that you could wear, but some of them I'm like, I want more, more color selection. So I get like a 9.8 out of 10. Basically, I love these so, so, so much. Compared to my Mary Kay lipsticks, they are amazing. They give a lot of coverage, one swipe, and you have a lot of color. Like, they're very pigmented and amazing, and I am in love with these. I believe they run for $18 each. So, if I know you and you're interested in buying any Mary Kay product or this lipstick, message me. Um, my mom sells Mary Kay, and she'd be gladly happy should be very happy to help you guys and if not i'll link mary kay's link down below you can find a consultant near you because mary kay's different it is independent company so consultants are the ones selling you makeup so if you want to find a consultant near you i'll link it down below yeah like i said i have compared these to the color pop lippy sticks it's pretty crazy how similar this was and i kind of compared this to hmm, or any this shade is like almost identical so I'm gonna swatch this right here so you guys kind of see what color pops looks like and yeah okay so if you guys see right here this is color pops lippy stick in Lumiere in Lumiere it's right here and that's Mary Kay's so so you guys could tell this one looks different because it's a stick and Mary Kay is a lipstick so it it was hard for me to swatch because I'm horrible at swatching. But I could compare the two to you guys and kind of tell you guys my opinion. I really do like the color pops, but what I have to say is you could tell the difference in quality in let's say both of these. So like, okay, yeah, this is cheaper, but this is more quality. This is it smells good at first, but it smells very cheap. Like, yeah, it smells like vanilla, but when you really smell it, it smells like chemicals and you just know it was cheaply made. Whereas this is quality. Like, it, Mary Kay's lipstick is quality. I know that because I've been using Mary Kay's lipstick for years. So Mary Kay's lipstick is quality. So compared, they are both very good. But I like Mary Kay's better. I stay true to Mary Kay because I love Mary Kay so much. I feel like these are more pigmented and moisturizing compared to this and I noticed that this has a long longer lasting power than the lippy sticks from Colourpop so if you want a long lasting matte non-drying lipstick this is for you this is for you these are just great and I love them Mary Kay has been on top of their A game coming out with good products 
I'm so excited. Ignore my little friend here named Bob. Actually, ignore my little enemy named Bob. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and watching me and I want to let you guys know that you're all beautiful inside and out. And yeah, so bye. Deuces. <laughs>